Hello. So this video is long overdue and quite honestly, I did not want to make it because of what I have to share um, on this video. So as most of you know, my son Elijah was diagnosed with uh, type 1 diabetes uh, in April. And after, for the first month, after his diagnosis, he had to take insulin. But after that first month, he did not. And he went four months without having to take any insulin at all. And we were like, yes, Jesus. He like so excited about that. And we were told that this is, you know, this was considered a honeymoon stage and that it would end. But we were praying because this is what we do. We were praying for a miracle and just asking the Lord to just, you know, turn this thing around. Well, after four months, um, we are now back to take in insulin and it was super deflating. I can't even pretend it was deflating for Elijah. It was deflating for us. And we had to just have, um, you know, just dialogue with him and, you know, to just help him to see the silver lining in, even in all of this. And truth be told, as we were trying to help him to see the silver lining. I was trying to help myself see the silver lining as well. And believe me, I had to like take a lot of my feelings to God in prayer because as a mom, you don't want to, you know, have to deal with this. You don't want to see your child go through this. But again, um, as we've told him and even having to remind ourselves that, you know what? This is not the end of the world. Like, thank God that we have the wisdom to know what to do um, in terms of, you know, what, what we should feed him to help to keep his blood sugar levels in normal range and that we're not all over the board and, you know, scratching our heads and wondering. And it's been quite an adjustment because I've had to go back and relearn like all the things that we learned in the beginning and playing around with the dosage. And even though he has to take insulin, he doesn't really have to take that much. So, we have to like tinker with things a, a lot and you know just praying that we don't give him too much like today i gave him like 1.5 units before a meal and he ended up dropping low and you're like that's such a small amount of insulin how come you know so it's just still trying to figure it all out and you can get into that place of just frustration and even self-pity like why do we even have to deal with this however again you know, just having to remind ourselves that this is not the end of the world and this is not um, just the worst thing ever that could happen to us. Again, thank God for the provision of insulin. Thank God for the wisdom to know what to do. And we do plan to, as, as of now, continue with the low carb diet. And it's my prayer that as he gets older and the ball is more in his court, that he will make that decision as well. And you know, the other day I was just so happy for him um, because as a mom, you know, I, I, I am concerned about how he's processing all of this. And the other day we were, we went to a good friend, you know, she had a get together for her daughter and they had cake there. And prior to going, I bought him some low carb cookies um, and he brought it and I was just so happy and he knew he just they had chicken and they had pizza and some other things and he stuck with the chicken and I was trying my best not to make a big deal about it because I could tell that that irritates him when I'm just like are you okay like just checking in on him and I was just so happy to see the way he handled it and it wasn't just like woe is me I can't do what everybody else is doing like for him it's this is what I have to do um to you know just be in a healthy place so that um made me feel good uh and I know that we're gonna have many more moments because it's one thing when you are at home and you know, you're kind of sheltered and this is our little safe space and you know, this is what mom is preparing and you know that this is what you can eat and you don't have to feel like the oddball because everybody else is eating it as well. Um, that's one thing, but when you have to go out in a public setting, that's 
the part where my mama's heart is just like, Lord, help him um, to be strong enough to even navigate all of this. Because just quite honestly, thinking about it as a 10 year old, um, what he's having to do is what a lot of adults, <laughs> you know, sometimes struggle with and, and not trying to, 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 um, be mean towards other people in any way. But again, for me, um, I just recognize that, you know, it can be a, a little bit difficult for him. So in any case, I just looking forward, we're just going to continue um, to not just focus on, oh, this is just horrible. Because some days I do feel like this, like, man, God, I wish that this wasn't the case. But you know what? It is. It is. It is what it is at this point. And um, we are just going to keep a prayerful heart so that we won't become um, angry and just uh, just bitter about this situation, but instead thank God for the provisions that are there. So that is where we are now. Um, I plan to continue to give updates. I was hoping that he would get on and talk. You see him do have a few cameos in some of my videos, but he would prefer at this point not to get come and sit and talk, um, which is totally fine because I have enough mouth for the both of us. So I'll continue to give updates, you know, just sporadically here and there and um, just continue to share our meals with you. So that is it. All right. You be blessed. All right. Speaking of meals, I wanted to share with you really quickly what we had for dinner tonight. I made two whole chickens and I did this in the oven. So simple, so delicious. You can click on the link in the description box to see how I do my baked chicken. And let me tell you, when you put bacon grease, when you use that as your fat, like melted bacon grease to um, put on the chicken, so delicious and you bake it. So anyway, we had the chicken and I also did some cabbage for those who wanted it. So for myself, I just had some of the chicken yeah, along with some suet. It was delicious.